that in the critical angle and internal reflection. The critical angle is the first angle where there is no refraction. So normally we would expect light to pass through glass. We can see light passing through windows. Um, so we know that that happens, so we get refraction occurring. So the light doesn't head in a straight line. It bends slightly, it bends upwards away from the normal because it's speeding up as it comes out of the glass and into a less dense medium. So the experiment was to, to vary uh, the angle within the medium and observe what happens to uh, the, the rate of refraction. There is a certain point um, where the light starts to begin to reflect back the way and that is when uh, we reach the critical angle. So if we look at the three situations, the first of which is before we reach the critical angle, the angle in the medium is not sufficient to, to cause internal reflection, we still get a faint line being reflected back the way, but that most of the light is still being refracted through the glass and, and emerging onto the other side. At this point, the angle in air is greater than the angle in the medium, which we would expect, um, because that's what uh, refraction and refractive index tells us will happen. Um, and the refre reflected ray that comes back the way that is very, very faint should be roughly equal to the angle in the medium. Once we reach the, the point of critical angle, we actually have two rays of light emerging from the initial ray. We've got uh, an angle of refraction of 90 degrees. The, ang the, the light that goes into air on the other side of the, the glass block is emerging at 90 degrees. And then we've got a much more visible um, line of uh, reflection, which is equal to, again, the, the theta in the medium. This is the point at which all light is going to be internally reflected, and that is called the critical angle. Beyond that critical angle, we're going to have the same case again. We're going to have theta in the medium being equal to the angle of reflection. So all light is going to be reflected backwards at that point. We know this equation already. Refractive index is equal to the ratio of the angle in the least dense medium to the angle in the more dense medium. But at the critical angle, when internal reflection starts to occur, uh, the angle in air that is refracted out the other side of the block is, uh, is equal to 90 degrees. So we can substitute in cosine 90 degrees. Sine theta in the medium at that point is equal to the critical angle, theta c, which we call the critical angle. So because sine, sine 90 is equal to 1 and sine theta medium is equal to the critical angle, sine of the critical angle, then we can get our first equation here and we can rearrange that for the critical angle to give us 1 over n. And that's probably the most used equation for critical angle. So we looked at an example of that. Diamond has a refractive index of 2.42, determine its critical angle. So its sine of the critical angle is equal to 1 over refractive index, 1 over 2.42, 24.4, which is a very, very small uh, critical angle, which is really the reason that diamonds sparkle so much. <laughs>